when I got this offer, uh, I was thinking about the right director. Someone who is very talented with uh, philosophical view on the world uh, close to ours. Someone with whom uh, we would have the right chemistry that would allow us to create something good. The main idea was to tell the story of mankind's struggle to keep their right for freedom. Then I came with the idea of a wall as a very clear example of something that is blocking our way to what it seems to be a perfect war. I also used this, this wall as a blank canvas in which the different episodes of the story will take place. The challenge we faced when writing the script was trying to find episodes in history that would be internationally recognizable and at the same time metaphorical enough for people to get the message even without knowing about them. For me an organization like Amnesty is very important. I grew up uh, in the communist regime in strong uh, totality so I remember the desperation of people at that time. So now I'm aware of uh, the importance of organizations that go beyond the political diplomacy. What I like the most is to tell stories and uh, to find an original way to do it. Making animation is a very time-consuming process but allows me to tell stories in a, in a poetic way and that was my intention when, when I accepted to carry on the project. We found that uh, the Carnation Revolution that took place in Portugal in the 70s was a good reference, a good example of how non-violence and perseverance can achieve even the most difficult goals. And that was a message or the metaphor we wanted to pass on. Behind the wall, a wall of light and freedom, and on the other side, death, injustice and despair. A flower can wither and die, but its seeds will bring life to a new one. I always liked the idea of a man struggling to regain the lost paradise. <laughs>